Today, guys, we are fishing for chain pickerel. We've got like an hour before the sun goes down. I got out of work a few minutes early, and I'm hoping to make the most of it by coming here to score some chain pickerel or whatever else is swimming around on this day. It's the first warm day that I've been around. Like yesterday's high was like 48 and today's high is, gosh, 62, I think. So hopefully spring is on its way. I got one not too far from the boat second cast that is a great sign I love it and there he went <laughs> second cast one pickerel damn when I'm targeting pickerel I like to focus on shallow areas that have pockets of cover or even down timber anywhere they can discreetly wait to ambush an easy meal. God, I hear those peepers, those spring peepers back there. Those young frogs just doing their thing. Peeping, I guess. All right, this is a good looking spot along this weed line here, this edge. There's a little drop off over here. Alright, I can't see so great where I'm casting because it's right into the sun, but it looks like it's right along the edge of a pretty major weed island there. Oh, 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 got him! He came right out to smoke it. I got to see it. That's the cool thing about being on a paddleboard is the vantage is like awesome. Oh, there he is. Alright. So far, no size. No decent size, but I'll take it after a winter of being laid up and uh, hanging out indoors, especially with this COVID winter we've had. All right, fella, be still. I'm trying to trying to help you, not hurt you. Come on, dude. All right, fella. All right, there we go. All right, he made it away quickly and safely there. Meanwhile, thanks to the wind, I'm now in the middle of where I don't want to be. This big patch of grass. All right, so, you know, this is kind of a choke point where the bigger area funnels down. There's a weed bank on this side, one on that side. Um, it should be a nice area to focus on for a few minutes, I'm hoping. You know, I get some modicum of uh, success here. So far, we've been doing fine. All right, there's a nice little pocket. Looks kind of promising. Oh, here he comes. I saw him come out to get it. Oh, he got it. Right from the corner of that little pocket back there. He is so small, though. I mean, he is the smallest pickerel I've had in a while. <laughs> This is a tiny, tiny pickerel. But even this little guy is like the perfect predator. I mean, look how streamlined he is. All right, fella, look how streamlined he is. I mean, there's almost no resistance in the water. One little flick of that tail and they're gonna just shoot out. They've got really big eyes here and a huge mouth when it's open, when it doesn't have a pair of uh, treble hooks sewing it shut. Um, these guys really are, in these small ponds like this, one of the apex predators. Um, they feed on small fish. They definitely feed on frogs. I've seen it myself. It's really cool. Um, and you can expect to catch them on, you know, fast moving, shiny baits, as well as topwater frogs. Uh, frogs more in the summer. Being ambush predators, pickerel rely heavily on their sense of, you know, vision. And they will just shoot out from the back of a pocket, from next to a log, to straight up clobber a bait. I'm gonna throw back in here one more time and see what can happen. 
Oh, here they come, here they come. I saw one. Oh, he stopped short. That's okay. We're gonna try again. Oh, he came out for it, he missed it. Sometimes they come back. The nice thing about them is if they short strike or miss, they'll often come back. They're super duper aggressive. There we go. Just like these weeds. I'm gonna to toss back up in there a couple more times and see if I can make it happen. Oh, got him. Got one. <laughs> All right, this seems to be the class of fish we're dealing with today. I don't care if they're runts. I've been inside. It's been winter, you know, it's been a pandemic. <laughs> I'm just glad to have something on the other end of the line. All right, let's let this fella go. All right, fella, grow up to be a monster and I'll see you in a couple years. There he goes. Off to ambush another unwilling victim. Right, since the pickerel bit off my rooster tail, I'm reaching for these custom trout spinners made by a friend of mine. You may have seen in another episode from the Outer Banks where I shot with him this summer, Brian. So Brian makes these awesome spinners. He does sell them if you're interested. I'll link it up in the description. Let's see if this can get it done here at sunset. All right, Brian, let's see if your trout spinner does the trick. I bet it will. Oh, oh, first cast. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm definitely linking, <laughs> linking this, these trout spinners in the description. Hey, a bigger one too. Not big, but bigger. <laughs> Oh, I love it. First cast, dude. Hey, this is a little healthier specimen. Let's let him go and see if I can get the big mama. All right, I'm thinking we're going to work the side of this little grass island. With a couple casts here. Maybe we can snag one or two more fish. I don't know. It's getting pretty dark. Pickerel are definitely vision oriented hunters. So when it gets dark, the pickerel bite shuts off. I'm just being optimistic trying right now. Pretty day, nice to be out. Oh, got him. It's okay. Oh, start up, start up. Oh, what have we here? Ooh, fighting different. We have my GoPro knife. We have a large mouth. All right. All right Brian's uh, rooster tail here. This proven multi-species lure now. This little large mouth. Still, buddy. 
Two pounds, nine ounces. All right, that is sick. First time out fishing in 2021 and things are going well. Let's let this beautiful gal go. I think she's ready, she keeps biting me. That was totally worth getting my arm wet. I'm telling you, fishing for pickerel is like looked down on by some guys. They, they view pickerel as a nuisance fish, but I love them. They're a great sport fish. They provide a ton of action, especially when things have been cold and are just starting to warm up and you wanna get out there and do a little fishing, but the bass aren't cooperative yet. I'd encourage you to give it a try. Remember, keep it moving fast, keep it shiny, and look for areas that are, you know, in a transition of a, a weed line or a drop off in fairly shallow water, somewhere the pickerel can hang out and then ambush your bait. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. It's gonna be a great year. I've got a lot planned. It's gonna be fun. Stay tuned and subscribe.